Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking at my attempts to grow a walnut tree and following those attempts through their first summer growing season. The intent here is to share what I'm seeing and learning and build a resource everyone can leverage to grow more trees. I collected these seeds in the previous fall. Link in the description to that full process. Ultimately, I had what I thought were three viable seeds. A walnut seed would typically find its way to the ground and maybe get buried by a squirrel. It would spend the winter outside going through what's called a cold stratification process where it's subject to the cold temperatures and wind, water, rain, etc. I didn't follow that path exactly opting to keep all of my tree seeds outside in a bucket. They were subject to the cold temperatures of winter, but not the snow, rain, and moisture. Ultimately, I wish I did just plant these in soil immediately. I think that may have helped my germination rates. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. It wasn't until early March that I would finally plant these seeds. I wanted to get them into soil while there was still a month or so of cold winter-like conditions. I'm burying these seeds an inch or two deep and watering everything thoroughly. From here we just had to wait and we had to do that for quite a while. It wasn't until July 1st, four months later and well into summer that one of these plants finally did emerge. This young tree was at least 10 centimeters tall when I first saw it, so it was growing fast. You can see these small spruce trees emerging beside it, which are minuscule in comparison. By the end of July, this tree was getting quite big, adding a ton of size. We can see a number of new branches and leaves. These leaves are getting quite big. In comparison to the other tree species I'm growing, this walnut tree is absolutely huge. Unfortunately, I do have something developing here. We can see these white spots appearing on some of our leaves. I believe this is powdery mildew. It looks like powdery mildew I've experienced before. I opted to use some diluted hydrogen peroxide to try and remedy this and stop this powdery mildew from expanding across my balcony garden here. The internet told me this would be safe. I used the 3% hydrogen peroxide and then diluted that even further. I was expecting this to be pretty straightforward and safe. Unfortunately, it wasn't. As we see here, about two weeks later, our plant is losing a lot of its vigor and vibrance. These leaves are not looking good. They're very droopy and miscolored. Our branches are droopy as well. Nothing about this plant looks healthy at this point. Ultimately, I think maybe the hydrogen peroxide was a mistake and I was misguided there. I would not recommend putting any hydrogen peroxide near your young walnut plants. I decided to cut away anything that was dead or dying and try to salvage what was left of the plant, see if it might be able to regain a bit of strength and hopefully put out some new leaves. Here we are at the end of August with our last dead leaf. This plant has not made it. There was a clear path of decline after applying the hydrogen peroxide. Maybe I should have let it just run its course on its own. At this point, I figured I would poke around a bit to see what we might be able to learn from the root structure or anything happening beneath the soil. I was able to find the walnut shell and it had this small ball thing emerging from it here. It fell apart pretty easy with a bit of pressure there. We can see that there's some sort of growth coming through inside the walnut there, which then expanded out into that ball section. Presumably the tree separated at some point after it got big enough. Unfortunately, I was unable to pull this seedling out of the soil, so I wasn't able to observe the root structure. Walnuts apparently have a deep taproot 
and this one seems to have a firm grasp on the soil here. I was unable to remove the plant despite trying pretty hard. Lastly, I decided to cut the trunk and see if there was a ring inside. Rings denote the age of the tree and there was a ring here, one ring. Cool to see. Unfortunately, that was the end of this walnut tree's journey. I will be trying this again though. I've collected seven viable seeds this past fall and I planted them immediately in soil to go through the winter, hoping to see better germination this coming spring and get some of these walnut trees growing. Please share any walnut related tips or knowledge you might have in the comments below. We'd all love to hear it. And quite frankly, I could use the help. So until next time, thanks for watching and happy harvesting.